Thanks guys for joining me for another video. My name is Sean and I'm a registered dietitian. Today we are going to go over some information about nutrition support calculations, specifically looking at enteral nutrition support, so feeding through the GI tract. Now if you haven't watched any of my other beginner videos, please do so if you want a little refresher. Otherwise, I just wanted to go over a few things that I was thinking about last night that I wish I included in the prior videos. So just information that I thought uh, you guys might find helpful. So in some of my other prior videos, we looked at three different formulas. Jevity 1.2, Osmolite 1.5, and Promote 1 Cal. And what we saw in some of those equations to figure out what would be the right nutrition support formula for the patient, some of these formulas would both work. And what I want to touch on is if someone chooses Jevity over Osmolite, it's typically not going to be because of the macronutrients are different. Oftentimes you'll have different formulas that both meet the calorie and protein needs for your patient, but you might choose Jevity over Osmolite because Jevity has fiber and because Osmolite doesn't. Another reason why you might choose one formula over the other is because your facility carries them in different concentrations. So let's say for example, your, your hospital has a Jevity 1 cal and an Osmolite 1.5. Well, if your patient has very high energy needs, let's say they need 2,500 calories a day, I'm probably not gonna wanna give them, uh, you could give them the Jevity 1 Cal, you would just have to give them 2,500 milliliters per day, or around 104 mils an hour which would be acceptable for a nutrition support formula, but let's say they're having some tummy issues and you're not sure if they'll tolerate it. If you choose an Osmolite 1.5 for someone that needs 2,500 calories per day, you would only have to run that at 70 mils an hour. So that might be something that you want to consider as a dietitian: is how much volume of formula are you giving a patient? Do you want them to get fiber or not? And ultimately, it's those factors that are going to determine which uh, formula you pick and not necessarily because there's only one formula that you have that could meet the patient's needs. And then promote. Promote would be your high protein formula. Here you're getting more protein per liter than either of these other formulas for less calories. A thousand calories gives you 60 three grams of protein. So for someone that needs, let's say, let's make the math easy on us. They need 125 grams of protein and 2000 calories a day, then they'll be able to meet it with Promote. Whereas with Osmolite and Jevity, you would have to give them way too many calories just to meet their protein needs. So it's those kind of factors that will determine what, um, what formula you choose. So I just wanted to clarify that. The other thing that I wanted to clarify was the calculations. Now, I demonstrated how we take the energy and the protein needs of a patient and we figure out what rate we should run that tube feeding formula at. Now, I feel like I could have done a better job explaining it, and so I actually wrote out the equation that I use. So what you should do is go down to the description and copy and paste this equation or copy it here right from the screen if I'm not able to type it down below. I'll try my best. But if you're looking to find the right formula, this is the first equation you want to use. We're going to take your estimated calorie needs for that patient and divide it by the concentration of that formula, whether it's a 1.2, a 1.5, or a 1 cal. And then we're going to divide by a thousand. This will give us our multiplier. Remember we use that term multiplier. That's going to be able to be plugged into your formula to determine a lot of different factors. That multiplier, what that number means, if it's a one or a 1.5 or a two, whatever that multiplier is, what that means is it's how many liters of formula per day. Now what your formulary teaches you or tells you, which is what I also have up here, is what the calories, protein, and water you get from uh, one liter. 
So by multiplying this, you use the multiplier. Can we see all this? We use the multiplier and we plug it into our formula information. So let's say here we're using osmolite 1.5. We can just type in here the formulary info. 1,563 and 762. So whatever your multiplier is, you just run the numbers through. So let's use an experimental number here. I'm going to change colors. Let's say our patient is going to be on Osmolite 1.5 and they need 2,000 calories per day, kcals, okay? So here we're going to put 2,000. We're going to divide by 1.5. So let's get out our calculator. 2,000 divided by 1.5 gives us uh, 1333. Divided by 1,000 gives us our multiplier. 1.33. So this is how many liters per day the patient needs on Osmolite 1.5 to get 2,000 calories. So let's go ahead and run these numbers. So we take our 1.33 repeated times 1,500. We get, whoa, what would you expect? Right around uh, uh, 2,000 calories, just like we wanted. Then we can use that multiplier and multiply it by the protein. Whoopsies, 1.33 times 63, 84, 80, 84. Now, we can skip the water part for now. That's not really that important. The reason that you're going to want to know this equation to find the right formula is because let's say our patient here needs 100 grams of protein. So by running this number, what we see is that you won't get enough protein by meeting their calorie needs. So this formula here isn't going to work for our hypothetical patient. Now let's try this again. I'm going to erase these numbers. Whoops, tripping over myself. We're going to erase these numbers here and let's try a different formula. Okay, so we have a patient here in the hospital. Their needs are 2,000 calories and 100 grams of protein. Osmolite's not going to meet that protein need without giving them a whole bunch of extra calories. We don't want that. So let's try a different formula. Let's try Promote. We know that Promote is a high protein formula. Maybe that will work. And that's the really fun part about being a dietitian is trying different formulas to see what might work and what doesn't work for your patient. And when you do this a lot, you'll know just by looking at the numbers or just the medical conditions that that patient presents with what formula might be a good option for them. So here, kcals, their kcals haven't changed. It's 2000. We're gonna divide by the concentration of Promote. Now Promote is a one cal formula. We're gonna divide by 1000. That's gonna give us a multiplier of two. So we take our numbers from our formulary, 1000, 63 and 831. So our patient, in order to get 2,000 calories, needs two liters per day. Each liter has this, so we multiply it out. Wow, cool, look at that. We're meeting their protein, their calorie needs. This is gonna be a one, uh, 126. And we can just for, um, just for fun, we can do this one. So cool. So here we can meet their calorie needs while meeting their protein needs. And you might say, wow, Sean, that's, that's 26 over. Would you want to be 26 grams of protein over? Maybe. Most of the time when we calculate needs, we usually give ourselves a range. I've been making these videos kind of easy by just giving us flat numbers. But usually our patient might have something like 100 to 115 grams of protein per day, let's say. It's always better to give your patient a little bit too much protein than not enough protein. 
So I'd be okay with choosing promote as a formula for this patient. The last uh, equation that I want to show you is these. These are macros for your chart note. So remember, this formula up here just lets us, let us, ugh, lets us know if the formula we've chosen to meet the patient's calorie needs meets their protein needs. We know that this is the case with promote, but this, this will tell us, um, this will tell us what rate we should run that formula at. And it gives us, uh, it gives us a new multiplier because sometimes these numbers don't work out really well. So let's go back just because I think this is an easier example, we're going to erase this. We're going to have a new hypothetical uh, patient here. This is going to be fun, guys. So what we're going to do, we have a patient here that hypothetically needs 2,000 calories per day. And let's say they need 85 grams of protein per day. Get rid of this. Cool. Uh, so we're going to, I hope I had a 1.5 and not a 1.2 down there. Any case, let's see, did I have it? Yeah, I had a 1.5. So we're going to do our 1.5 again. This is going to give us our 1.33 repeated. Okay. And then we pull our numbers down, 1,500, 63, and 762. This is going to give us our 1,995 kcals back. And it's going to give us our 84 grams of protein. Okay, cool. So this helps us find the right formula. Cool. We're going to use osmolite. Now, how are we going to know what rate to run it at and what our chart note should read? That's where this bottom equation can come in. I hope you all can read it. So kcals divided by concentration. So the same thing we did up here. 2,000 divided by 1.5. So 2,000 divided by 1.5 gives us this number. We're going to take that and we're going to divide that by 24. That's going to give us 55.55. 55.55. Um, milliliters per hour is what we would have to run this formula at. Now let's say this was um, 51 or 52. So normally we would round up. Can, can we all see that? Barely. Let's move this down. Cool. So normally we would round up. So if this was a 51 or a 52 or a 53, we would round up to 55. But this is this is right on the nose. So let's take our rate. Uh, we're going to round up. We need a nice clean number. So let's use 55 per hour times 24. So 55 mils per hour times 24 hours in a day gives us um, 1320 divided by a thousand gives us our new multiplier 1.32. 1.32. This is how many liters per day the patient will receive getting osmolite 1.5 at 55 milliliters per hour. So then what we can do is we can run this number back through here and that will give us, let's just do this for fun, 1500, 1980 calories, 1980 calories, 63 times 1.32 gives us 83 grams of protein. And last but not least, our 762 is 1006 milliliters of H2O. Awesome. So what this shows is that this formula at the top 
helps us find which nutrition support uh, formula we should use. Once we know which one to use, we can plug in our calorie estimates, the concentration, to determine the appropriate rate that we're going to run that formula at. We're typically going to round up. In this case, it was so close to 55, I'm okay just rounding down very slightly to 55 mils an hour. And then we're going to run that into our multiplier and back through these numbers up here to tell us what the macronutrient provision is for our rate. Because those numbers before were based off of um, the volume and not the actual rate that we want to run that formula at. So this would be great for something like a volume based feed, but we're going to do a rate based feed. So don't get too caught up in the details. Just know that when you go to write your chart note, you have to do this second equation to determine your calories, your protein, and your water. If you don't do that, these numbers aren't going to be right. These numbers are right if you ran it at that rate, not this rate. We change the rate slightly because it makes it easier on nursing. We're not going to run a tube feeding pump at 55.6 mils an hour or 51 mils an hour. We're going to round up. So that's why you have to recalculate these numbers based on the new rate that you've rounded up to. So I hope that makes sense. So if you have any questions about this or any other nutrition support questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I hope you guys find value in this video. It's almost eight o'clock at night. I've been here all day, but I want to create content for you. So show some love and please subscribe. Thanks guys for watching. Cheers.